Ah, there should be enough smoke to test it. Xtool sent me their new portable laser enclosure. Let's go ahead and kick the tire, shall we? Wait. Um, how about we just peel the Velcro, I guess. So, let's go ahead and see what this thing is all about. And here we have the Xtool portable laser enclosure. Links in the description below for special deals and promotions. It's relatively designed for the D1 and D1 Pro. It's foldable, fire retardant, efficient ventilation, and a viewing window. Now, let's go ahead and get this assembled and uh, see if there's anything else that we should point out about it. Assembly was very straightforward. Everything's held by Velcro. And it is pretty big. Here we have excess ports that are on the side. And this is uh, so just in case if it needs to be higher up. Here we have our air assist port. And we have some magnetic enclosures. You can see the magnets right there. Not hidden very well, but does the job. Below is a big ventilation area. This way it can get cross ventilation. And then next we have this nifty tool holder. Don't really have any tools for my laser engraver, so I just grabbed some random things and threw it in there. And we have a viewing window. I still would suggest using your safety goggles. Uh, just a headed layer of protection. Just in case you're wondering why this uh, enclosure is so tall, it's so you could use standoffs, the risers. That way you could use that rotary. Also, the inside is 310, 625 by 610. Just in case we want to know if your laser might fit in it. Now I did run the exhaust out through the window. This is an air conditioning uh, exhaust. Link will be in the description below. Now let's get to some testing. How about you, Lenny? Testing, testing, Lenny. I wanted to produce as much smoke as possible so it's at 80 percent power and this is the 20 watt and about 200 speed yeah i tripped the fire alarm on it so i had to open up the enclosure and turn it off well that last test it was definitely extracting the smoke so this one i decided to tune it down a little bit and uh what i did was i ran it without the exhaust on and i just turned it on just now and you can see the smoke is now moving around and it is starting to go out the window which is nice to see i just wanted to see if i fill it up with some smoke how the exhaust would behave and it's doing its job look at that almost done i had my hand next to the exhaust fan and i there was some like back pressure or something so it was blowing a little bit out so i wanted to try an experiment I bought this uh, mixed flow inline fan from Amazon, and the link will be down in the description. And this is more for exhaust than the PC fan that's inside that you get with it. So I took it all apart and found some shorter screws and put it all back together. So this is now the new setup. And I have the blower right in between. So let's give that a shot. So let's test another deep engraving, get some smoke going. And you can see that all the smoke is going out. Is this new exhaust any better than the PC fan? Well, this is actually in the back right corner, right where the exhaust is. So I think now let's go ahead and move it to the front left corner, furthest away from the exhaust and do another test. Now you can see that the smoke is just filling up in here. That, so I went ahead and turned it off. As I mentioned, there was, uh, with that fan, the exhaust fan that comes with it, it creates a little bit of turbulence on the inside because you can actually feel air pushing back into the enclosure. Now this is all the smoke not being interfered with. So it's kind of hard to tell if the smoke is actually dissipating faster or not. 
So I just wanted to give this a little experiment a try, but it does exhaust out with this new blow. Believe it or not, that's really all I got for this. It's a very simple solution for your laser engraver. It's If it's in your shop or in your garage, it helps protect your eyes or anyone else from entering where you don't have to like basically go in to the work area with safety goggles on. But I suggest if you are looking through the window on it, they still wear eye protection and it exhausts the smoke. Now, I really thought that I could beef it up by getting that bigger exhaust, but it really didn't do that much of a better of a job. So this thing does what it's supposed to do. And it's a matter of your machine will fit in there and if this is something that you think that you need for your shop, garage, and or work area. I think it does provide a great solution. So hopefully you have enough to look at to see if you want to buy this or not, if it's right for you and your laser engraver. It's a very solid build. It's all held together with Velcro, easily disassembled and thrown in a drawer for your next project. So I really appreciate you tuning in to Tripod's Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again. See you the next time on Tripod's Garage.